Hi. So maybe you'd like to start off as a freelance translator, but you haven't performed any translations yet. You don't have a track record, you don't have a portfolio, you don't have any past translations that you can show to anyone. So you feel that no one's going to hire you because you don't have anything to show to prove that you can perform these translations. So I'm here to help you build a track record, to build a portfolio. This video here is going to deal specifically with building a portfolio or a track record, say, for your translation. If you're looking for other ways to get the ball rolling and to get started, I made another video which I'll link to right here. It's called The Chicken and the Egg and that shows you how other ways you can get started and it touches upon this. But this video deals specifically with getting a track record and create, um, building your portfolio. So the first option is basically to find a random website that hasn't been translated yet into your target language and translate it into your target language. A couple points about this. First of all, you want to make sure that you're not infringing upon any copyrights and stuff like that. I would suggest just to go to Wikipedia and find a page that hasn't been translated and translate it yourself. The beauty about this is that once you have translated it, you can actually propose it for the official translation into your target language. And then if it gets accepted, then you have a track record that you can point to online. But even if you can't, or even if it's from another website that doesn't become official or go online, you can still use it in your portfolio because you'll have a legitimate source language and target language translation. Which brings me to the second method, which is to contact an NGO or a not-for-profit of any sort, a 501c3, any one of those organizations, because chances are that they don't have a translation into your target language, but they can't afford to pay a translator. And don't forget to contact charities or organizations that are close to home, that are around you, that you know that you're a member of or that friends of yours are members of. So you could contact them and you can say, hey, I can perform this translation for free just because I need a track record. Be open about it. Be honest. And hopefully then they'll use your translation on their official website for their official material. And so you can definitely point to that. Along those lines, one organization that I know accepts freelance translations on a voluntary basis is TED. TED translates its videos into many different languages and usually it's always performed by volunteers. So you can definitely try checking with them and try to perform some translations for them. The next step would be to approach anyone who is in your future industry and see if you can perform a translation for them. Now by future industry, I mean your specialization. If you are starting as a translator and you are going to specialize in legal translations, then this would mean approaching legal organizations. Although law firms tend to have quite a bit of money, so I would shoot for legal organizations or maybe conferences or companies that supply law firms and contact them about translating their website. Basically, these will be people who will be your future clients, but since they aren't yet, you might as well use them to build up your portfolio. Of course, if you find a company website that isn't translated into your target language and you can perform that translation, then uh, by all means, you can contact them and say, hey, I performed your main About Us webpage into your target language. How would you like me to do the whole thing for X amount or for a fee? Wait maybe a bit later before doing that because this will already mean that you get paid and it also means that they might not like the translation you made because if they refuse you in the first place, then suddenly you can't use the translation you made in the first place in your portfolio. So it is safer to choose a website like Wikipedia that you're sure isn't copywritten, that won't get you in trouble, and that you can translate into your target language without any problem. But definitely keep in mind that a free translation of one web page of a certain website can turn into a client at some point in the future. Another approach would be to contact people that, or contact companies that you might need something from. Maybe you need a new website done, so you can contact a website designer and say, hey, I can translate your website if you can design my website or something along those lines. And you can hopefully maybe create a deal where you do a favor for a favor. So this will get your portfolio running and it'll also mean that you don't have to pay for whatever you need done, like the new website or pamphlet or business cards or I don't know. A couple points to keep in mind. First of all, if you want to perform your first translation for a friend, 
I'd strongly urge you to reconsider this. You might think you're a great translator, but it doesn't fit what they're looking for, or something along those lines. It's bad enough if you do this for a random company or you know, in any type of client, but if, if it's for a friend, it just adds another layer of being complicated and being awkward because then you put the friend in an awkward position that you don't want to put your friend in, that your friend has to put you in an awkward position and it's just kind of bad all around. If they can, you know, maybe push you in the direction of someone else that you can do a translation for, then that's already better. And that's about it. I hope this helps and I hope these can help you get a track record, get started and get your portfolio going. If you found this useful, please click like. Please feel free to subscribe because I'll have more videos about translation, freelance translation, etc. And if you have any other suggestions for getting your track record, for getting your portfolio or something along those lines, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm always interested about learning about new methods and stuff like that. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Sabedum!